most of the phosphate mines are in Bone Valley, outside from Tampa, Bartow, Lakeland, and that area. Actually, North Florida, there's only one phosphate mine up here, and uh, uh, they they were Johnny Come Lately's to the phosphate scene. Uh, Bone Valley has been in business since the 19 early 1900s. And uh, this mine didn't open until 64 up here. Now, there is other mines in the United States. There's some in North Carolina. There's some up north. I think there's one in Iowa. And there used to be some in Texas. But most, most of the phosphate mining uh, is done in the state of Florida. And it's still being done, like, actively to this very day in 2016? Yes. Uh, matter of fact, they've shut down one uh, mine here and one chemical plant, but they're still running one. But uh, Mosaic's still going strong in Bone Valley, and uh, you know they're still acquiring land. They're still uh, they're still mining and uh, you know and running their chemical plants. And there's several organizations down there that are trying to you know the same thing. They're trying to stop the poisoning of the ecosystem down there but the phosphate uh, industry is very 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 strong they have a very strong lobby and um, you know it's, it's going up against the phosphate industry is, is almost suicide you know but people are trying and uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a very nasty business uh, just the nature of the business itself you know destroys the earth and the ecosystem and you know, they claim that they reclaim the land, but, but the, the land will never be laid back down the way it was naturally. No, well, like you and I were discussing off air, you know, the, the layers of sediment and everything took thousands and thousands and millions of years to settle and create the perfect environment for life to grow. And then these guys come along and tear that up within hours and then destroy all of that. Yeah, you take, uh, you know, they they mine thousands of acres of uh, of land, and, you know, the first thing they do is, is they go in and cut down the trees, the forest, you know, push up the stumps, you know, clear the land off, and, uh, and then they make a pit, and then they mine the, you know, of course, the topsoil, the subsoil, the clays, the sands. There's underground springs there. They go right on into them, right on through it, uh, limestone, and uh, basically... Uh, uh, they throw this uh, matrix, we used to call it, and it's the phosphate oil. You know, it's got sand and clays and different things along with it, and it goes into a pit. It goes into the the, the mining area, into the washer, then it goes into the float plant where they float the rock off the top, and the sands and the clays go to the bottom, and they pump those off. And then, of course, the rock is ready for processing in chemical plants. You were in a documentary titled Fluoride, Poison on Tap, and you and the filmmakers actually did something that was amazing. You guys took, well, they took a drone and they, they flew it around one of these phosphate mining plants, one of these areas, and then you were able to look at the video footage and point out what this stuff is. And, I, I mean, I had no idea at all. I mean, I, you know, you could look at it and go, yeah, that's a pile of something or that's like a dam built to hold a pool of water, but you don't know what's in there. Whereas you were able to explain like the dark brown water in these huge pools that they have. Th those are those are called stacks, right? Those the big white piles of sand with the, the liquid up piled up in the top of it. Yes, those are called phosphogypsum stacks. And in in those stacks. What what is that nasty brown liquid that's sitting in there? Well, actually, the white part of that stack, which is dammed up around, and and they make a pond in the center, that is phosphogypsum, which is the byproduct of making phosphoric acid. And the brown water you see in there, uh, when a stack first starts, of course, it would be it would be like you know fresh water. But uh, they use that water in the process in order to make phosphoric acid and granulated fertilizer. Anywhere they're using water, they're using that process water. And as they use that water, it collects heavy metals, phosphoric acid, lots of fluoride, arsenic, mercury, chromium, you name it, it's in there. And it goes back in that pond 
and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's the reason those aerial shots in the movie, Fluoride Poison on Tap, it, it almost looks like cane syrup. It's so dark, or Coca-Cola. And uh, basically, that's just the impurities that, that that water is picking up and taking back to that pond going through the process because in the phosphate industry, when you're making phosphoric acid, in order to make phosphoric acid, you know, you're adding that pond water, you're adding sulfuric acid, and you're adding phosphate rock. The sulfuric acid digests the phosphate rock, and then it makes a slurry, kind of like a mud pie. And... Uh, it goes through the process of digestion, of reaction, and then the last part of it is you can you come in and put it on a filter, a huge rotating filter, and it pulls the phosphoric acid through the, the, the filter claws and into the receivers which pump it to the product tank, and then that white part that's left is either dumped off or screwed off, slurried up again, and sent back to the stack. Phospho, phosphogypsum stack and there they have a, a drag line that goes around that stack you know digging that phosphogypsum out and stacking it you know around on the, the dam so to speak the, the problem with a lot of that is uh, a lot of that stuff is escaping from there a lot of it's through the air and evaporation especially in Florida it gets real hot here in the summer in Florida the evaporation of that water sends fluoride up. And also, the stacks, the phosphogypsum stacks themselves, are leaching because Florida is like a sponge. Most of Florida is sitting on top of limestone. And anybody that knows what limestone looks like, it's a very soft, white, porous rock. And as those phosphogypsum stacks leach, the water is slowly leaching down. That very acidic water is eating away the limestone. And once the limestone gives way, you'll see it in uh, the movie, and you'll you know you can look at the newspapers around St. Pete, Tampa. These sinkholes will fall in because they eat the limestone away. Once that happens. This toxic pond water is in the aquifer. And, uh, you know, that's just a, a terrible thing because, you know, that's where we get our drinking water from. And we, uh, believe me, you don't want to drink it. In the documentary, you actually show a case where this happened down here at one of these phosphate mining plants where in this one of these gypsum stacks, this very event that you just described happened, and there's this huge sinkhole in the middle, and it looks like it drained the whole pool. Yes, uh, there was one down there in uh, central Florida, and we had one up here uh, just a few years back. And uh, basically in the movie, we, uh, the, one of the shots that was taken showed a helicopter flying over it, and you can just see the size of the hole uh, you know, in comparison to the size of the helicopter. Uh, up here, when the uh, Senko caved in, there was 87 million gallons of toxic pond water that ran out of that phosphogypsum stack into the aquifer. And, you know, it's a sad situation because it's getting harder and harder to find clean drinking water. I think... Uh, the event in Flint, Michigan up there just taught us all a little lesson. But it's going on all over the country. Uh, the pollution is getting so bad that it's going to be hard. You know, I worry about my grandchildren, you know, one day not having, you know, fresh water to drink. 